Renee and you're watching Beyond Renee today and today I'm going to try something for the first time which is Bantu knots. Now Bantu knots are when you do those little spirals on your head and then when you take them out it's called a Bantu knot out and you're supposed to have these beautiful like wavy loose curls. I'm going to try it today. I don't know how it's going to turn out and I thought I would record it just so I could show you guys the experience of my first time. So maybe it'll be like a beginner's luck thing and it'll be amazing or if it's horrible you know, we could all just laugh about it, it'll boost your self-esteem. But we're gonna hope and pray that these turn out beautiful. Now how I started was I first washed my hair, so I'm starting with nice, clean, fresh hair, shampoo, conditioner, and then I put it in these two little, little fizz braids. That way I can start to stretch out my hair. So now I just put it into two braids. I'm gonna take these out and show you guys my texture. As you can see, I have three B curls. I've even stretched them out, but this is how my hair looks when I get out the shower. It's like barely a little like wavy crinkle. Now when it dries, it does get into ringlets, but this is how I'm starting out the shower. So if your hair does not look like this, do not expect the same exact results. I honestly have seen the better results on like 3C hair, like something that's a little bit coarser or a little bit tighter curl, but we're gonna see how it works on my hair today. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is blow dry my hair so that it's in more of a stretch state. Now if you don't wanna apply heat to your hair, I know that there's other alternatives where you probably could do some type of style to stretch it out and just let it dry. But because this is the first time I'm trying Bantu knots, I'm not gonna take any chances by experimenting with other alternatives. I'm just gonna stick to the book and do the blow dryer. And then next time if it works, I will try some alternatives where I don't have to use any heat. I'm going to start off by sectioning my hair into smaller sections, and then I'm gonna grab this Proclaim Glossing Polish, which is a color and heat protectant. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of this, and then rub it into my hair. Don't just get the top and bottom, get all up in between those curls. I'm then grabbing a paddle brush, another thing that I never use, but just going along with the tutorial that I watch, and I'm gonna brush through my hair. Oh, look at this beautiful little curl that's just like, please, please don't blow dry me. Ah, <sighs> so sad. Grabbing my blow dryer, this is a Diva Dryer by Diva Curl. It has a nice little attachment on it. And I'm going to blow dry my hair so it's in a much more stretched out state. going to section my hair off again into smaller sections and I'm going to grab the lower part and grab that in to another half section as well. Then I'm going to get the olive oil smooth and hold pudding and you're going to apply a very 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 small amount to that section to start our Bantu knot. Not too much to where our natural curl pattern pops back out but just enough to keep everything nice and smooth. Now to start twisting. You're gonna twist in one direction, leaving some space towards the top of your head, and you're going to curve around creating your first type of loop. Then you're going to keep twisting, and your second loop is gonna go right underneath your first loop. That is very important. I started doing it on top and that didn't even make sense and didn't work. But now that I got the hang of it, you twist and go right underneath it, and you have to move your hand all the way around to make that perfect Bantu knot. Twist, just like this. And if your ends look a little dry, add a little bit more product so that it doesn't look all frizzy at the end of the day. And then you're gonna keep going around and then tuck that underneath. Some girls just tuck it in, but I'm going to use a bobby pin to secure it in place. And ta-da, there is a Bantu knot. Let's keep going. Halfway through, halfway, kind of already over it, 
but I'm doing it. I'm doing it nice and slow. I kind of just want to rock this like half banshee, half boob look. What do you guys think? Think about it. Can it work? Fine, I'll continue. Now here is a closer look on how to do the bantu knot in case you're still confused. Now what you need to keep in mind is that you want to keep a little bit of slack at uh, your scalp. You don't want to twist all the way to your scalp because then you leave no room for your bantu knots to go underneath each other every time you loop. So you just make the first loop and then you go one right underneath the other one but there has to be enough room for all of those layers. The more you do it, the better you'll get. One more Bantu knot. Happy dance, happy dance. All right, let's finish these babies. All right, there you have it. I did it. I did the Bantu knots. How they're gonna turn out? Don't really know yet. This is how they look. This is how it looks in the back. I wanted to make them all like this so I could sleep nicely, but this one kind of popped up in the middle on accident. So that's gonna suck to sleep on. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I believe I have 19 of them. 19 bantu. I didn't even mean to do that. I mean, I was just on a roll or a twist, whatever. Now to sleep tonight, I'm going to keep my head wrapped in a plastic little shower cap. This is going to add some moisture to my hair while I sleep and while that all sets in, just like so. And I'm going to add my satin bonnet. So now I'm gonna sleep just like this. It's going to be extremely uncomfortable. And then I'm gonna wake up in the morning. We're gonna see if I succeeded or failed miserably. One uncomfortable night later. Now it's time to do this. I almost don't even want to take them out. I, you know, I work so hard on them. I could just, you know, rock it and look like scary spice for like a day. What we're going to do is we're going to first take out the bobby pins. And then you're going to unscrew it like a top. So you're just going to twist and undo it. So I decided to grab just some coconut oil, just like a little bit, just to kind of grease up my fingers as I undo these. right now I'm not going to leave it like this I'm now going to unravel them and add some volume wait can we just admire these unraveled Bantu knots real fast love it okay moving on All right, so now it's kind of flat, so I'm gonna take my pink and we're gonna give it a little bit more volume. And here is the completed look of my Bantu Knot Out. It really does give you a completely different curl pattern. Not too bad for my first time. If you have your own tips and tricks for Bantu Knots, please leave me a comment below. And if you also try this hairstyle yourself, make sure you tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your results. Before you go, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. And you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Pinterest, all at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.